It's warm today. Got eased out on just over the back there, where we camped before, and we're heading up Helm Crag. So yeah, it's it's on we on. Ten to six now. I mean, left about ten o'clock this morning, believe it or not. But we got stuck on the M6 with all the traffic, so we had to work our way around. We come off at Stoke and ended up working our way all the way down to Preston, round through Manchester, avoiding the M6. So I've come off at junction 15 and got back on at 31. So it was a little bit of a jaunt today, it took about five hours. So we've uh, picked one of the smaller little ones to do, but it ain't very easy, it's pretty steep. Bit of Bradbury bashing today, so we'll soldier on a little bit and uh, bring you back when we're near the top. Sounds as knackered as well. Head off and it cut. Couldn't have put a better day for it. Although, it's forecast storms later on, so we'll see. We may have to do a bit of bending over and kiss our ass goodbye. Aluminium tent poles and thunderstorm. <laughs> Still, we're not very high up. <laughs> Alright, let's carry on. What have we got here? Shorts today, knobbly knees and everything. Whew. Can see ya. Where are you? There you are. Can we see Easdale yet? Let's have a look. Probably not. No, it's over the back of there. <laughs> hey, which one's you? Yeah, well, Gibson, not that way ish, and rough crag. East Delta on a bit over there. There's a very big one right over the back, popping over the edge, but I ain't too sure what that one's called it. <laughs> the only reason I know is because I've got my view range, I'm not that clever. But yeah, certainly a good view. And I'm not believing what the weatherman said just yet, anyway. I wouldn't mind going for a dunk in that waterfall though. I remember when we walked up the path because the path to get over to Easdale is literally just up the left hand side of the waterfall and last time we went weren't there, there were some people kind of sat in there having a little bubble bath. I don't think there was room for us. Um, there weren't no room for us up the buggers were there. It's black tie event only it's a... So yeah we're going to head up there towards the blue and try and do a bit. Come down here, bird. I like getting birds flying in the air. Anyway, I'm waffling. Right. Onwards. <laughs> have you made part one? Right then. We should have some uh, pretty nice vistas here. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Ooh. Well, blimey cat, that's that bit I'm going to have to look at in a minute, you know, because if that's nice and flat, we look good camping over there, because the sun will come up that way in the morning. 
So, if my memory serves me correct, is that the traveller's rest down there or that one? I've got a feeling it's white, which they all are. <laughs> traveller's rest pub's one of them down there anyway. So, if Dave, if you're in there having a pint, hello mate, I'm Bradbury bagging. Blimey. I'll sit and watch this for hours. But no, slave driving on up there. <laughs> Come on, let's go and find that runner that didn't have a nice bum. Didn't have no, I didn't even notice. Yeah, and we think we're going to check in a bit. It might be a complete load of rubbish. Actually, I'm not even going to say it because I'm bound to be wrong. That's the scaffolds over there. <laughs> well, I'm saying it is anyway. Because it's the tallest thing I can see. Do you want to run off with your bag and then come back for mine? Um, survey? <laughs> no. Can't stop filming. Moo cows. Dinner. Take the good sledging down here, won't it? <laughs> I need to develop my app, don't I? I've had an idea for an app, and I'm calling it Summit View. So what you do, all geeky like, you open up your phone onto kind of like a camera. Well, it opens up the camera in the app, and you point it sort of around at the mountains, and by oh, what's the word? What's it called now? Augmented reality for all those geeky people. It'll just pop up, dink, name of the mountain, ding, name of the mountain, ding, the name of the mountain. I'd say something, I'd buy that for 79p anyway. Make me millions. But well, now I've just told everyone. It's not going to happen, is it? Last push now, cat. Hey? Scramble. It's not as bad as the peaks. I mean, come on, that was a grade one, that was. <laughs> We do pick our days to do things though. We'll put it this way, Kat. At least you're going straight up so you don't have to worry about walking a mile to do like about 100 foot. You're doing 100 foot in about 100 metres. <laughs> ah, you'll be right. You'll feel good in the end. Get your endorphins going and all that. I'll just go and drop my bag off. I'll come and get yours. Not far off now, up there, and we just got our first glimpse of East Del Tarn. Bet you could go have a good dip in there now, eh? Is this the one that the pond's at the top of? Oh crap. On Julia's video? Yeah. Is it not? Yeah. Dang, I thought there was a puddle at the top of here. No. I'm a bit confused then. Oh, is that hay? Haystacks. haystacks. Yeah. This is the one he was scared of, isn't it, old Wayne, right? He's alright going up this bit apparently, but when it comes to is it the lion or something like that? Yeah, the lion. I'm really gonna have to check up a bit more before I start coming and narrating all this stuff, innit? I? I might have to just put music to all this. But yeah, it was really windy. <laughs> right. I might need two hands for this bit. One to get myself up and one to help you. <laughs> Right, I'll bring you back at the top. Go on, climb it. <laughs> Nearly there now. Would you like a hand? Sure? Yeah. I have been offering people before anyone says. I'm hoping. Just over there. Is a little camp spot. Well, a piece of flat grass that I spotted anyway. Sure, don't want to? Yeah. Kiss you, Donny. Sure. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Both sweaty Betty's looking at me. Right, this last little bit. I might save me climb till I've cooled down a bit, eh? Mom, don't 
I'll tell you, it's not the highest of, uh, well, fells, mountains, hills, but knackering. It's good though, isn't it? Mm, it's a lot, it's really steep, it is quite a, you know what I mean, you've got big rocky steps and there's not really kind of many flat plains to walk up, but there's no chance of getting lost. No chance at all. Yeah. I thought you were going to say it's a nice evening stroll and I was like, are you mad? <laughs> right then, I'm going to go again. That sun drop that is. But, the best wild camping spot we have ever found. Flat, spongy, beautiful grass. Hang on, what are you doing? What have you seen? Knowing cats, it's either going to be. Oh, are you? Follow the path down. Yeah, and they've just gone left. Oh, yes, I can see them. Yes. I think they're the ones in front, so that must be the route down and then along or something. Another. Well, some people say you can get down that squiggly path, can't you? Where's that down here? Squiggly path's going to be over that way oh, because that's yeah. the road there. Yeah, you want to go and have a look down there? That's steep, that is. <laughs> Blimey, who are you? Look at this, isn't it pretty? I don't think I'm going to do wild camping anymore. My bag's too heavy. I'm not coming till I'm fit. Yeah. Was it worth it? Hey? Hey? Little ass monkey. Right. I'm going climbing. <laughs> yeah, go on then. I think so, yeah, you've gone the wrong route. I'm not giving up. <laughs> it's lovely now. Oh my god. I don't like the drops. <laughs> I'm a big wimp, I'm a weed. I'm not sure I'll make it. I don't think you will either. Careful. Can I come down now? I don't like it. Yeah. Do you want me to record you coming down? What? What the hell? Then white poles you've got. <laughs> Can't believe how peaceful it is up here, can you? Should we bivy it tonight like that? <laughs> oh, I like runner. It don't look anything on this video, this thing though, it? It doesn't look like anything, that rock. Hmm. Some big mountains over there, cat.
Make sure that will come out. I don't normally use the zoom. Can't you? Yeah. Well, turning into a pretty nice night up here at the minute. You see it's a blooming miles. It's got that lovely kind of golden hour light to it. They're reading the new trail. It's actually quite funny because uh, what's it Helm Crags in there as well. So <laughs> we did actually quite well to be up here on our own. GoPro as well. I'm sat there doing a time lapse of the sunshine going down. So if it works and it looks nice, it's a beautiful sunset. Mm, just about now. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the sunshine's nearly gone to bed now. But we've got some lovely colours over here. I wish my camera would pick them out properly. Honestly, it looks like Ayers Rock. That's right, isn't it? Are you sure? Is it called Ayers? It is Ayers Rock, isn't it? That's all right. Before I start advertising some Australian rock that appears red, but it's not actually that one. Just like when I said that's probably the scaffold range, which it probably isn't. <laughs> it's probably more like bloody Snowden with my sense of direction. Oh, I don't know. It's wicked up here. Really do love it. I'm not advertising anymore. Actually, we should be saying that Helm Crag is rubbish. Nobody ever wants to ever come here. Honestly, there's no places to camp. Get the tent out of shot. It's just, it's just rock. There's, there's nothing to do here. <laughs> oh yeah, and by the way, I didn't bring any of the trousers with me, apart from my tracksuit bottoms. So Kat has renamed me now as Helm Chav. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Yeah, nice one. Get your back cat, you know that? Yeah. <laughs> right, I'll bring you back in a bit, guys. Just come round for a different look at the old howitzer. And in that light with the sun behind it, that's cool, that is. Almost want to run up it again, cat. No. And you can just catch a glimpse of the sun. Oh, let me try and zoom in. There you go. Looks a bit more pinky to me, but you can just catch a glimpse of the lake down there. And three, two, one, duck. <laughs> Don't you want me in the picture? I'm only joking. <laughs> Not after you call me a chav. You can hardly even see the tent over there. There it is. That sheep's back again. You ready for some burglars yet? Soonish. That's alright then. We ain't got much to eat tonight really. Because we got off the motorway so late we were trying to think, what should we do? We've got to get up somewhere quick. So, just stopped at the co-op and got some minted lamb burgers and some cobs. So we got that. And Kat's bought a legendary pasta again, which I guarantee you, you'll still have in the morning. And the next time we come up. So, unless I find anything nice and beautiful and important to show you you'll probably see me frying up some burgers and then it'll be bedtime so I shall catch you in a bit look at that sky I told you I'd bring you back if I saw something beautiful look at this we've got the old radio on <laughs> dirty dancing time of our lives <laughs> oh, I don't know. things beer makes you say eh? Well, I'm sorry, that's just stunning. I shall leave it there and be quiet for a second. It's where it's at, guys. I know I always say it, but it is. This is where it's at. <laughs> Bear with me, it's an arty one.
I'd say that's a success. <laughs> this guy's mad. Unbelievable. It's quiet as a mouse, isn't it? We didn't have a pin, so we tested it with a blade of grass, didn't we, on the tent, <laughs> and then we could hear it drop. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to have a think in a minute and try and decide what we're going to do tomorrow. So, oh, hello, what time? 10 o'clock now, that is. I know. See, told you, you're starting to like it. I do like it, I just move bags and everything. I'm not doing wild camping anymore. I've told you, you get a bivvy. Get a bivvy, ditch the sleeping bag because it's summer, just bring like a, what's it, insulated jacket, you can sleep in that. You'll be fine. You don't even need a bivvy, you've got your little Zephyrus light, that's like, I don't know, a bag of sugar and a plum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so tomorrow, we may, well, we've been talking about cat bells, haven't we? Doing that because we're camping, we're uh, stopping at a campsite tomorrow night, one that we've been to before, which is just over yonder, around the corner, and on the left. <laughs> so we've been there before, so we're going to stop there. So tomorrow day, we're trying to think what we can do. So we've got a trek back down here, shops. and yes, all right, shops. <laughs> we're going to go to that, what I can't even remember what the place is called, it's basically somewhere to get your breakfast from, and oh, it's in it's bang on in Grasmere, it's a little cafe in Grasmere. So hopefully, if it's a nice morning, we'll be sat outside again, yeah. eating sausage and egg cob, we can't have bacon, because it basically makes cat turn into a monster. <laughs> I'm only joking, it gives you a bad head. But um, yeah, watch this space, where are we going to go? Well. <laughs> We've got 213 more to choose from. My idea was... <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it was actually, yeah. Well, I think I've changed my mind now. Yeah. Blank Kaffir, oh, I don't know. We can do it if you want. You'll be up it like a little whip it without your big bag on. I'd have thought so. We could always do another wild camp. See, what's your call? What are you going to say? What are you going to say? <laughs> That was just a cackle, I know exactly what that means. Anyway, I'm going to let you enjoy this last couple of seconds of sky, and then I'm going to go and make myself a burger because I'm hungry now. So, I will be quiet. Well, we made it through the night. Where the tent blew away there, look. <laughs> I'm only joking. We're all packed up and away now. So it's just going on for just gone 8 o'clock. So we're going to trek down now and hopefully that, uh, what's it, the cafe will be open. It's still there. Yeah, hopefully it's still there as well, yeah. So yes, as usual, leave no trace. You about fit then? Yeah. Sorted. Yeah, it's a bit overcast today. So I reckon we picked a good night for it last night. Not that I'm open for fun doing everything today, but I will actually laugh and say, ha ha, we chose the right day for once. So yeah, I'll bring you back and show you my sausage cob. <laughs> Does that sound wrong? <laughs> See you in a bit, guys. Well, guys, typical. Just put the tent up, got to the campsite. It starts raining. So, at least one good thing is that we picked the right day to do the wild camp anyway because the wind rustling through these trees I'd be a little bit worried being up that high <laughs> but yeah we're back at the the old campsite that we've been to a couple of times I can't think of the name of it now it'll come to me well yeah I've been here a couple of times before so I think what we're going to do, we're going to go and get some lunch in Keswick, just down the road. And then, um, see where we go from there really, but fire and barbecue might be out, we don't know yet. But I'm hoping it'll pass, but it's looking a bit horrible and grey over there. There's a little bit of break in the cloud, but 
Over that way, it ain't too bad. But for now, I'm just going to hide. <laughs> well, we're back again. Bridge End campsite, I remembered. It just come to me. Hello, you. Got some burglars going. It's actually holding up, to be fair. So, I think we might get away with this one. It's all looking good at the minute. But yeah, I've got my authentic firewood from uh, over there. Because we're a little bit tight, aren't we? Well, we thought the weather was going to be a bit crap this I know, yeah. Very true. But yeah, this place is filled up a bit now. We've got some uh, dabbing lads over there with a big tent. We've got a man over there who's with his girlfriend, but I think she's fell asleep because she's been there for about three hours. <laughs> Family of four down there. And people arriving all the time. And Anne wishes he was at wild camping somewhere. I always wish I'm wild camping, there's nothing else I can do. I better flip my burgers, actually. Oh, hello. Oh, it's not working, cat. I can't do it one handed. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. No, it's not working, is it? Oh, it is. There we go. Let's get in there. So, yeah, a couple of cans. Just chilling. It's all good. I wish we weren't going home tomorrow, though. Have we decided what we're going to do? Where's them little things anyway? Where's them little books? Undo them. I'll keep the nice oh, view on for now. Pull it with that. There you go. Grab us them books you bought. Sorry. I'm going as quick as I can. You can bring out the new Hilleberg 2014 catalogue if you like. <laughs> yeah, we've got these today. I'm lovely cat's pink chair. Where are we? They're a couple of quid each. They're only... 195 each, but you've got 15 walks from Keswick, which are all those on there. Pause if you like. 15 walks from Grasmere, that one's a little bit more. All them ones. And then the 12 best walks in the Lake District, according to a man called Paul Bottle. And that's them ones there. So we're going to go through some routes and we're going to have a look. And not necessarily do one of the biggest, highest ones, but we've got some planning for next time anyway. It's really good actually, it tells you sort of how many feet they are, suggested time, it even takes into account picnic time. So he's a man just like me, I like it. <laughs> well, yeah, it's kind of descriptive where you go, this, that, and the other. So I thought for six quid for all these, can't complain whatsoever. So yeah, we're going to pick one out of there. We're probably going to do cat bells, aren't we? Only because it's Cat's birthday weekend, as it's been for ages. Aye, right, that'll do. Birthday week. Why are you 27 again? Yeah, 21 again. 21 again? You had a bloody long paper around then, look. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Well, yeah, as always, we're loving it here. It's like my natural home, this place is. I wish I never left. Oh, well, yeah, we uh, it's quite funny today. We went into a shop, I can't remember what the shop was called, can you? It, it, had, it had a load of, um, what did we have? He did, he, he had like a big teepee in the shop and we just walked in and had a look. And he was selling loads of Mora knives and uh, Grandfather's Brooks axes and everything else. So we went and had a look and said to him, oh, he says, oh, whereabouts are you from? So we turned around and told him where we were from in Birmingham. He says, oh, no way. He says, I used to do the market over there. I used to do, like, the sports stand. I'm thinking, what a small bloody world, eh? He says, one day I just decided that I didn't want to go home. I was like, yeah, I know exactly how you feel, mate. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe cat bells for now. Unless we decide on anything else. But, yeah, we're going to get up as early as we can do. Do three, four-hour walks and something like that, you reckon? And then try and head home, leave about two o'clock so we're not in crazy traffic. Yeah, we'll go to Ambles and have a little shop around. It's got to be done. Oh, our climbing shop, the best shop in the world. Not sponsored by them yet. <laughs> right, I'm going to carry on cooking my dinner and uh, bring you back in a bit, guys. Well, we've made it to night time. So far, 
No showers, no nothing, no nastiness. Quite a nice night to be fair. I finally got a fire going. We didn't actually buy any wood from the garage so I'll have to bob over the fence and try and find some dry wood that's lying about. So I managed to get it going with the front page of the sun. <laughs> so I'm going to sit here and enjoy a couple more beers I think. A fire on over there, a fire over there. It's pretty cool to sit and watch actually. That's it, you take light like, baby. I got a bit of birch bark in there, it wasn't exactly the, the driest in the world, but I think it may have started to uh, catch light now. 